Hi, uh, this is Priyadeep and I'm the founder and CEO of GyanLab and we are the organization behind Kilometers Creativity Olympiad Layer 1 Challenge. And uh, in this video, I want to talk to you about, you know, uh, how, how is, is, the, is the process uh, of the Kilometers Creativity Olympiad uh, Layer 1 Challenge is, is, is taking place and, and how is it improving the, the uh, you know, the creative thinking skills of uh, school students. Uh, basically, the, the Olympiad, uh, you know, uh, uh, takes place in two different uh, tracks. So the first track is the, the Creativity Olympiad itself, which is an offline three-level competition that, uh, you know, happens for school students across the country. And the other is the online platform, which students have access to throughout the year in order to, uh, you know, practice uh, 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 problems and, and, and statements that are based on, on uh, and test their creative thinking. So in the Creativity Olympiad, uh, you know, uh, the three different uh, levels which uh, take place are uh, the first one, uh, first round, which is a written subjective test, which has about five to eight questions, uh, you know, uh, and, and the, the basic premise that we are looking uh, to get from the kids is, is how widely or how, how divergently can they think. Now, you know, usually what happens when they are given a problem statement with regards to math, science or any other subject that they are studying right now, is that they are asked to converge at the solution straight out, straight away. You know, whereas in terms of a, 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 a test that uh, that basically asks them to think creatively, the the, uh, the the fundamental idea here is to see how wide can they go. Let's say they're they're given a problem where they're given a brick and asked in what ways can you use a brick. You know, uh, or or if if you if you have you know, let's say you have a watch. And watches have had, uh, you know, straps or or chains forever. Now, how else can you, you know, present a watch? How how can it be different uh, from what it is today? Or if, if you give them the case where, you know, let's say one fine day they are they wake up and they find that they they are an ant in a deciduous forest, and and how 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 what do they see around them? How do they go about their day? Now, questions like this, you know, these basically. Uh, ask them to think as widely as possible and, and uh, think of as many ideas uh, and as many tracks that they can think of. And this is what we're exactly testing in, in, uh, in, in, you know, in the first round. So this, after this written sub, uh, you know, subjective test, uh, we will pick about 600 to 900 students from across the country and they would move to round two, uh, which is also based on creative thinking. And the idea here is that we get uh, you know, uh, uh, these kids to the regional finals uh, uh, to, uh, which, uh, which is going to happen in three different locations, uh, six different locations. I'm sorry, and you know, uh, so uh, in each of these locations, they are going to get a bunch of of individual and group tasks. Now, and then, then this could be as as divergent as possible. You know, it, it could be something where they are asked to perform a task, or it could be where you know they are actually put put in groups, given a problem statement, and asked to think of uh, of you know prospective solutions as a group together, and. Finally, from this lot of students, the top 150 students will be brought down to Bangalore for a two-day uh, grand finale, which, which is going to happen in the month of January. And uh, here, uh, again, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a series of, of individual and group tasks. Uh, the, the only difference being that it's going to get even more complicated and, and more complex. Now, uh, if, if, if we, if we uh, you know, take uh, and how, but you might ask us, how does the evaluation of this work? So, uh, uh, creative thinking can basically be, you know, sort of put into uh, uh, four different categories, uh, which include fluency, which may, means how many, uh, you know, ideas can you think of, originality, how original or how new or how novel is the idea that you're thinking of, flexibility, which means uh, as to how many different tracks are you thinking in. So, for example, you know, in, 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 in the case of, of using a brick, uh, 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 one of the tracks could be, you know, you using this as a, as a paperweight or, or trying to put, uh, 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 you know, like a string around it to tie something or, or that could be one track. Another completely different track could be, you know, using it to uh, probably, uh, you know, like rub something or, or you know, maybe dig uh, the ground. It could be anything. So, so you know, basically tracks, so every different thought, train of thought is basically a, a different track. So, and that's, uh, you know, uh, flexibility. And finally, elaboration. How can you take your ideas together and how can you elaborate them in the best possible man manner to come to a proper solution? So, be based on these four categories, uh, students are going to be evaluated in the Creativity Olympiad across the different rounds.
and 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 uh, so at the, at the end of the grand finale we are all, uh, going to award the uh, top performing performing students uh, and that's about the creativity olympiad on the online platform what we are going to do is is on a weekly basis we are going to share a, a, a bunch of problems for the for these kids to solve based on creativity now our partners at erevon have come up with a completely uh, you know like indigenous curriculum uh, which sort of takes them on a week by week level uh, into the into the their journey of creativity and creative thinking and and what we want the kids to do is that spend about 20 to 40 minutes every week on 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 the platform and and what we anticipate that will happen with this is is that over a period of a few months they're going to start you know performing very close to uh, uh, what their creative thinking potential is, and and uh, even even after the uh, the competition actually gets over, the kids will still have access to the platform. So that uh, you know, because you know, fundamentally, what we are looking at is is that uh, if if a kid enters the program in class four or five and sticks to the program for about five to six years, that's from grade, uh, classes four to nine. Uh, by the time they finish the of the program in class nine, they should be at their absolute creative best, and that's the goal with which we are uh, doing the creativity olympiad so thank you